howdy, howdy, and welcome back to Charlie's Desk. You know, I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky. I mean, so often I see and hear people talking about what a dirty business this is. I mean, how it's full of phonies and backstabers and egomaniacs, coke cutthroats, and so forth. And as I said, maybe I'm just lucky, but, you know, I've had principal roles in more than 50 movies and television shows and over three dozen national and regional commercials, plus lots of corporate and industrial films, training films, and lots of stage plays. And I can only think of about three really unpleasant experiences. Many hear about how nasty the big stars can be, but I've been fortunate to have worked with some of the biggest guys like Robert Redford, Michelle Pfeiffer, Johnny Depp, Demain Moore, Richard Gere, and lots of others, as well as top directors like Francis Ford Coppola, Clint Eastwood, Tim Burton. And, you know, for the most part, I found them to be just professionals wanting to do a good job. I remember early on in my career, I was working on a movie with Emilio Estevez and Demi Moore, and I was rehearsing a scene with Emilio, and he said, now, you know that I wrote this script. Ah, oh, boy, I'm thinking, here we go. He's going to say, my words are golden, so you be sure you do them exactly as written. That's not what happened at all. He said, this is just the idea I want to get across. So if you want to say something a little different, that's okay. And you just go ahead. I'll, I'll try to keep up with you. I just want to make a good picture. And I found that the, the big stars, the Redfords, the Eastwoods, I mean, they have nothing to prove to anybody, including themselves. Just like Emilio, they just want to make a good picture. Yeah, some of the up-and-coming folks can be a little self-absorbed, but I think part of that's just insecurity. And also, you know, it's hard sometimes to keep things in perspective because if you have a principal role in a TV or a movie, you, you're you treated pretty well. I mean, you have a private dressing room, some pretty kind of small sometimes. Usually you've got a PA that's seeing after your needs, bringing your water bottle, getting your chair, and so forth. And it doesn't take very long to begin to expect those things. You know, I'm not a star. Never will be. But I honestly don't think I've ever worked with anyone who would hesitate to work with me again. I don't think I've ever been on a set that I wouldn't be welcome back. You know, if I roll through, before I leave the set, I make sure to thank that PA that's been bringing me the water bottle and, and the hair and the makeup people and the other folks on the set, you know, who've been trying, working hard to make me look good, and making me look good is not always an easy job. Now, as I once told the director of a commercial I was working with, any grown man who makes his living doing what he did for free as a child should never complain. As I said before, eh, maybe I'm just lucky. And I'll be lucky if I have you back next time, so until then, see you later.